of the hereafter, December 21st. Between the school established in Eden at the beginning and the school uh, that will be established hereafter lies the whole compass of this world's history. The history of human transgression and suffering, uh, the history of the divine sacrifice, and the history uh, then of the victory over death and over a sin. The Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 21 and verse 3, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and God himself will be their God. Uh, understand that the Bible says uh, that he will dwell with us. Uh, the word dwelling in context simply means a tabernacle. A uh, tabernacle is a place where God dwells uh, with his people. It is good to know that when it's all uh, said and done, uh, when sin will be eradicated, when death will be eradicated, it is good to know and comforting to understand that God himself uh, will dwell with us. The Bible says God himself will be with us. And not only Moses will be there, not only uh, King David uh, will be there, not only Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, uh, but God himself uh, will be there. I can't wait uh, to get to heaven and into the new earth where God himself uh, will be there uh, with us. Uh, now, that is the power of uh, his word. Uh, you might be wondering uh, how uh, you will be able to make it there uh, to heaven or the new earth. It is simple. Let us trust in God now. Let us appreciate his presence with us now uh, so that he will prepare us uh, to dwell with us in heaven and in the earth and make new. Now, that is the power of, of the word. Why not let us ask him uh, to prepare us uh, to meet him? Uh, Father in heaven, we thank you for all that you have done. And we just want to ask you, dear God, to prepare us to meet you in peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.